Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Jolly Holiday with Mary. I am Mary, I live in Indiana with my husband Nick and our two Boston Terriers, Albert and Edie, and I hope you're having a practically perfect day. Today I have for you a very large pin haul. I have so many packages, but there's a bit of a stipulation because my friend Pauline from Mouse and Mermaid and I are doing a Disney pin advent calendar for each other, so I need to weed out all of her pins from all of these packages and just show you guys the ones that um, I'm keeping for myself. I can't actually remember how many pins are like for me, so we're just gonna have to go through them and see what we find. <laughs> and then I will do a video of all of the advent calendar pins that I got her. Um, I just, it won't be posting until after Christmas because that's, um, when she will have opened all of her pins. So that'll be super fun. And um, come December, I'm gonna be doing some version of Vlogmas. I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna do every day, but um, I will be showing you every pin that I open from the pin calendar that she's making for me. So I am so excited. I've never done anything like collabby like this, like making somebody else something like this, so I'm so excited. I do an advent calendar every year for Albert and Edie and Nick, um, so I'm really excited to have an advent calendar of my very own. It's gonna be awesome, and I can't wait to send Pauline hers. So I'm like this close to being done um, finding all of her pins. I think I just need four more and I need to find one really special one. In any case, um, if you wanna see the pins that I bought for myself, stick around and I'll show you what I got. So this first one is from Box Lunch. It's a new set that they just came out with. Um, if you're new, you may not know, I collect Mary Poppins, Pocahontas, Up, and Lilo and Stitch slash Hawaii, Aulani, those kinds of pins. And then also um, I dabble in Princess and the Frog and some attractions and some Disney Cruise <laughs> line. I have a lot of pin collections going on, but mostly those first four. So this first one is stunning. This uh, Pocahontas one with Grandmother Willow in the background. Grandmother Willow is looking real fancy with her shiny green. I feel like the green could be a little bit more teal, but I'm just probably being picky. Um, Pocahontas is looking super cute. She's got some feather earrings, which are not like from the movie. It's just, I think they just, took some liberties and gave her some earrings, which are cute. Miko's looking really cute. A really nice pin. It's very heavy. It's like two layers, so it's pin on pin, so it's very, like, sturdy. And these were on sale when I bought them. I think they're actually currently on sale still. This is just a lounge fly pin, so there's no Disney backing. Just a really cute open edition Pocahontas pin to add to my collection. Very excited about that. The only thing that would have made this better, can you guess? if the metal had been gold. <laughs> I just really love gold metal. So Box Lunch actually had three new pins for Pocahontas. In case you weren't aware, this year is her 25th anniversary. So they brought out three new pins, and I only bought two because the last one just seemed too cartoony for me. I don't know. It was cute, but um, I didn't get it. So this is the next one. It's kind of like a dangly. I, I thought it looked like a Christmas ornament, which you know I'm all about that. Here we have Pocahontas with Miko on their little canoe going through the raging rapids. But I love this fall looking wreath up here. I don't usually like pins that have like a moving feature, but this wasn't very expensive and I loved the colors and I loved that it looked like a Christmas ornament. There's the back, it's just silver again. Wish it was gold, but that's okay. This is really nice. It's kind of just really simple. This feels especially folly. Now we're gonna get into the pins that I'm not sure which ones are for me and which ones are for Pauline. So bear with me. <laughs> they always make their packages so magical. Let me just show you. So I just dumped out this um, 
the contents of their um, package and out came all these little Mickey confettis. So cute. This was actually like that, but I wanted you to see a fun new pin. And then I love all these little confettis. They've got their card and then a nice little note that says, love your videos. Hope you like the new, I hope you, hope you like the, the zap we designed. What is a zap? It came, so it, this came with, um, oh, the zap. What is a zap? I'm so curious. Hope you love the zap. Ooh, a little like box. What the heck is this? What? Holy crap, they just sent me a necklace. Oh my gosh, look, it's like a, a pin, a pin back. Holy cow, that's so clever. Wow, that is just so nice of them to send that. Like, who am I to get such a nice little gift? What the heck, that is so sweet and generous. They always make these packages so fun. They always put stickers and buttons. Those are gonna go in there. That one is for Pauline. Almost all of these were for Pauline. So this is the only one that is mine. And it's so random. <laughs> That's why I love uh, Collect Random's name because a lot of these things are just totally random. So I have like a really mini Emperor's New Groove collection going on. <laughs> so I got this cute little Pacha pin, like a coin of some sort from wherever they live. And then Pacha's in the middle. It's very, very cool. I've never seen these like this design before, so I snatched it up. This is two of five, so I might need to get the rest of them. It's just got the Mickey waffle. It's a hidden Mickey pacha pin, and I love it. I love Emperor's New Groove. It's so stinking funny. And then I got my fun little button. Thank you guys so much for sending me such sweet things. That was just completely unexpected and just really lovely. Let's see what this one is. Oh, that's a Pauline. I know that one's a Pauline. I haven't been ordering myself a whole lot of pins. Okay, that one's for Pauline because that one's for her. Because I know that she's gonna be buying me some pins too, obviously for the thing. So I've been trying not to buy a whole lot of pins because I don't want to like ruin the surprise by accidentally buying one that she was already gonna give me. All right, these two are so random. And these came from Ar is that right? Yeah, Arlas pins, A R L A S on eBay. They have so many fun pins. Um, this is like an older one. <laughs> I have no idea. It's like a a rhino, but it reminded me of Animal Kingdom. I think it is literally an Animal Kingdom pin. One of my newer pin collections is kind of like Animal Kingdom y. So and this is, I think, the first Animal Kingdom themed pin that I've actually purchased, but I have so, so many in my uh, eBay like watch list. This next one is from Zootopia. I thought this was really cute, and I love her little skirt. I love that she's a lamb because my name is Mary, which is so goofy. I don't know, I just really like her. So, there you go. I think this might be my very first Zootopia pin. <laughs> so random. You might have guessed that I don't always stick too closely to my <laughs> specific collections. Oh yay, I got another park map. <sighs> I wish I could go to the parks real bad. That's okay. All right, let's see what we have in here. This is from Oh yeah, I did this one on Instagram. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna save this actually. But here's her information if you wanna check her out. She goes like to Disney and buys things and then puts them on her Instagram to sell and she's way more reasonable than like eBay or something like that. The WDW Shopaholic on Instagram. She has lots of fun things. You can get new items from the park that um, are not available on Shop Disney. So I'm saving some stuff over there for like a Disney Halloween haul. I've ordered some things recently from the new Disney Halloween stuff. All right, and this one is also for Pauline. So this pack is from Tragic Kingdom Pins. She, I believe, designs her own pins as well. And then she also gets things from the park, I 
think, I'm not really sure, but she sent me some fun stickers. I've got this Aladdin, this Little Mermaid sticker. Cute. And Elsa and whatever that little girl's name is. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of the Ralph movies, so. I got a pack of traders. So she sent me 15 traders. They're super affordable, which is really nice. Holy cow, more stickers and things? Oh my gosh. She gave me some little Mickeys cut out in like fall colors. I love that. This is so cute. It's like a little, um, it looks like a trading card or like a Valentine from a long time ago. That is so cute. Oh, she's writing a letter to Daisy. That's so cute. What the heck? Oh, these came from Savage Disney pins. That's nice. So Tragic Kingdom and Savage Disney work together a lot of times. So that's a super cute card. And then she sent me this adorable Dale sticker. Adorable. Man, I'm getting so many like fun things today. I bought two pins from her. Um, she just had them listed like on her Instagram account for like first come first serve. And this first one is kind of goofy, but it's a fantasy pin and it's right up my alley. So <laughs> just thought I ought to have it. <laughs> uh, Pocahontas as a mermaid. So, so random, but it was only $20, limited edition of 100. So I got this super unique pin. You can maybe see the glitter in her tail. I love her little outfit. <laughs> I don't know. I just think fantasy pins are really, really clever. Sometimes I think they're even better than like actual Disney pins because they're so cool. And this thing is ginormous. So there's that one. And then these are from Loungefly and they're just little mini, they're very small, um, Miko and Flint pins. They look just like they do in the movie. Very cute. I don't have a whole lot of Flint pins. And so I thought it was very cute that you could get both of them. They were only $8 for the set, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. And they're so cute. Flit is so little. I love it. Man, I can't wait to put all these new Pocahontas pins on my board. It's filling up a little bit, especially with all the big ones that I've been getting. Like, this is big. The Grandmother Willow one is huge. So, it's super fun. All right, I think that's it because all of these are traders that I bought. I have no idea what they are. They're completely random. So I'm gonna open those in a different video. <laughs> that is my pin haul for today. It was, it turned out pretty good. I got lots of fun little extra things. Pin day is a good day. True story. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight new pins today. That's awesome. Pins just make me so stinking happy. Oh, I hope this video made you happy. <laughs> and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It helps my channel out so much. It also helps if you leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know what your favorite pin was from this little haul. Um, do you have certain collections that you try to stick to or do you just buy whatever your heart desires? <laughs> And if you're not subscribed, I would love if you would consider subscribing. We have a lot of fun on this channel with lots of fun Disney stuff. And I'm hoping to be able to go to the parks again next year, maybe when things settle down a little bit with the whole plague. <laughs> so anyway, if you're missing Disney as much as I am, I will link above my Disney World playlist from February. We managed to go to Disney World with my six-year-old, well, she was six then, six-year-old niece before everything like went crazy and I'm so grateful because she got like the full Disney experience like before COVID so uh really happy about that and it's just a really fun little vlog series so I'll link that playlist above if you want to see it every Tuesday my friend Pauline from Mouse and Mermaid I'll leave her channel link down below um we do a live show called Magic Movie Club and this is our little logo we just pick a new movie every week, a Disney movie, it's always gonna be Disney, and we do a, like a review of the movie basically. We just have a friend from YouTube. Um, this week is Magic in Michigan. We've also had It's Always Sunny. Um, I don't know when this video is going out, like this actual video, but um, whatever day it is, there'll be a live stream on a Tuesday. So it's 9 p.m. Walt Disney World time or Eastern Standard Time. 
and it's just a lot of fun so I hope you'll go check that out October we're gonna start doing Halloween movies I'm so excited and then November I think will be like folly movies maybe a little bit of Christmas but then December will definitely be Christmas so I hope you'll go check out our live stream every Tuesday ring the notification bell down by the subscribe button so that you don't miss when we start going live and go check out Pauline's channel as well so thank you guys so much for watching I really really appreciate your support you guys are just the best part of doing YouTube I love it so much having people I can like share my crazy obsession with it's just it's really it's just been really great so I appreciate each and every one of you thank you for watching leave me a comment like subscribe and remember it is a good day to be jolly I'll see you guys in the next one